chat. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, all you guys at home, don't forget to head over to the Reels Daytime Instagram page and use the hashtag GirlChatLive mm. to join in on our convo, okay? Yes. All right, first up, singer R. Kelly might finally have to face the music. Mm. Yes. Give it up, guys. The hashtag mute R. Kelly trended worldwide yesterday as women of color in Hollywood called for a public boycott of Kelly and his music in response to the numerous sexual abuse allegations that have been leveled against him for years. Those who spoke out included Me Too founder Tarana Burke, Shonda Rhimes, and our girl Ava DuVernay, who tweeted, we join the call to mute R. Kelly and insist on the safety and dignity of all women. We demand investigations into R. Kelly's abuse allegations made by women of color and their families for two decades. We call on those who profit from his music to cut ties. Geronda <laughs> Pace, who yeah. was on our show, bravely told her story of the alleged abuse she suffered as a minor by R. Kelly, tweeted about the movement, saying, quote, my heart is full. Thank you. Hashtag me too. Ladies, it's time finally up for R. Kelly. I feel like after all these years, a lot of us are in a uh, foggy place, and I'm gonna explain what I mean. I was a huge R. Kelly fan of his music, and I think a lot of us, we've heard so many allegations, we've heard so many things, and you're like, but he was never convicted, so maybe it doesn't matter. Like, you're just like confused. You're, right. you're uh, like, honestly, right. I, I sat today and I was like, let me make sure that I have my facts straight. Like, I wanna make sure that right. I know what I'm talking about today. Right. So I was like, what has happened? I, I remember being in 3LW, and um, this is like way back in the day when I was like 16 and hearing about R. Kelly allegations. Obviously there had been a video supposedly with a minor and all of these things. I remember producers talking about it and it being a big thing. And I always wondered, well, whatever happened with all those allegations? So there have been four of them and all of them have been settled out of court. Right. Now it's important to explain what that means. Usually that is a financial settlement, mm -hmm. which means that you pay to shut them up. Yeah. Who the victim is or whatever, and it never goes to court. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly, correct. That just seems weird to me that no one has stepped in and investigated past that. Does that make sense? Where it's no longer an issue of, okay, I just said it, but when does the justice system come in and say, something's going on here that ain't right, we need to look further into it. You know what I mean? Because I've heard of people that have pressed charges, even domestically, against their spouse, and then they say, I don't actually, I'm, I don't want to press charges. And the state says, nah, fam, like, you called us, we saw well, they were saying that the were And we're going to go in and find out what happened. Well, I mean, we want to be, if we want to be real, they're saying the reason why, a lot of people feel like the reason why this is happening because it's women of color, it was black girls. And that's the reason why they feel like there wasn't thorough investigation. No one Nobody, cared. for over 20 years, black women have been screaming about uh, the alleged, allegations against yes. R. Kelly. We had one here. Years. 20 years. We had one here. We did our part, okay? We, we had you her here. You tried to get somebody's yes. voice it, out. It happened for days. like a day. Like for a day, people talked about and it. And then if we're gonna be real, even then people were like, well, how come he isn't in jail then? He was never accused. Right, we it, got it's attacked. Hard. You, this you, is the thing about the Me Too movement. The Me Too movement, just to, to, to remind everybody, is about fighting men that abuse their power mm -hmm. over women to make them feel that they have to do certain things. And fame over and money and can equal over. power. Fame and money. If you yes. are famous, you have money, you can tell the person, don't, don't put those charges, instead I'll pay you off. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, oh, no, no, I, I'm just grateful that we have the Me Too movement now because exactly what, like you ladies were saying, I mean, I remember when I was like, 17 years old hearing about what R. Kelly has done. I mean, there are not just one or two it's allegations. You many. guys, there's so many, and it was over the course of 20 years. So I always ask myself, how come people aren't investigating this? You know? Yeah. So, well, we don't have the Me Too movement, and, I'm, and I'm grateful for them. The same people that you're wondering why we aren't investigating this are the same people that we've all been out at the club or at a party, and you hear an R. Kelly song drop. The man is talented in making music. He's a music All of a genius. sudden, it almost hypnotizes us. All of that is forgotten, and you just start bumping grind into his music because we just think about that from. Yeah. We are kind of enabling that, which is why this is amazing that we're putting a stop to this now because yeah. you can't just override that. I will never forget, back in 2002, when that tape emerged, mm -hmm. and I, I remember, remember. Yeah. looking it up, 
and watching R. Kelly. In the video, you can see it's him. And, they watch and he is studio. urinating on a girl who later was Allegedly, found out to be 14 year years old. old. Yeah. And make, forcing her to position herself in different ways to receive his gift. That also goes along the lines receive of Jerondi's story here. Yes. She was here as but well. But you know what yes. they said about it? They, they Allegedly, people were saying, and this is within the black community, they were like, oh, she's fast. She wanted it. Right. So they put the, they put the onus back on the woman and instead of on this grown man that was doing this to, allegedly to this 14-year-old girl. Answer, wait, 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 wait. She wanted it. Let me go there. You should have known better than Let me then. just go That's there for a second. second. You're the grown-up. This is true. We sometimes blame the victim. Even when young Geronda was here, when you look at our YouTube comments yeah. from, yes. that, from that episode, it killed me inside to see this poor girl then get blamed for what you put yourself through, what you asked for, it, you could have ran, all these things. Yes, it's true, but number one, first, she's a minor. And number two, next, there are predators out there that specifically prey on women who have no self-value, who don't have a worth, who are looking for a better life or hoping maybe you can make me feel like something. Which then brings me to this. Mm -hmm. Me Too is not just about getting those predators and putting them behind bars and getting justice served. Uh -huh. It's also about us as a community to make sure we affirm the value inside women. It is our job to put worth inside women. Because when you know who you are, those people can't mess with you. Those yes. people can't tell you to follow me and hypnotize you. You stand ground and you like, uh-uh, man, you messed up. Get the hell away from me. Yes. That's right. what needs to happen. Okay. Absolutely. Look, um, Two things. One, I'm going to read the statement from Buzz News. A representative for R. Kelly said in part, because you have to give both sides, R. Kelly supports pro-women goals of the Time's Up movement. We understand criticizing mm -hmm. a famous artist is a good way to draw attention to those goals. And in this case, it is unjust and off-target. The criticism of him is an attempted public lynching of a black man who has made extraordinary contributions to our culture. Time's Up has neglected to speak with any of the women who welcome R. Kelly's support. Allegedly. And it has rushed to judgment without the facts. He is a victim of a greedy, conscious, and malicious conspiracy to demean him. That is his... I'm gonna tell y'all something. I met R. Kelly, this was years ago. I was on the red carpet and yeah. I had to interview him. He's very um, charismatic. He is charming. charming. He's very He's charming. 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 He and nice, but... for a young woman, I can imagine, I was grown, you know, I was deep grown, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he almost got me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real. I could imagine. That's charming, charming. Imagine a 15, 16, 17 year old meeting this man who did Steph in the Name of Love. Yeah. You know, Ignition. I believe I could fly. And you are, it's, it's an impression, you know? Of so course. You that cannot, and, and that's what I'm saying. But that, that's what I'm saying, Jeannie, is that it's, we cannot fault these young girls. Of course. It's oh, like yeah. they Funny. fall for it. Yeah. It's, it's what you just said was so powerful. And that's what the Me Too movement is about. What I also upset about is that he's using the word lynching. Yes. What is that? And the to black do? card. He pulled that. There's too many people yeah. in this country that have really been lynched. Yes. You don't go and yes. try to make us guilty, feel guilty in the black community by saying We're that trying because to help you're the trying young to black right. girls. You're trying to. You're trying to. You, you know. You're trying to make us feel guilty and say, oh, now that you're a black man, this is. You know. No. Each case is a different case. You have the Bill Cosby case that's different. You have Harvey so Weinstein no, that's right. different. You have Kevin Spacey that's different. It is time for us, and that's why I have to Community. applaud Ava and Shonda, yes. because they know that this is affecting black women. Yes. For 20 years, you guys have been ignoring these black women that have been saying, Victims. I'm the victim, I'm in a cult, because word on the street is that he was doing all kind of stuff allegedly. Like, he was grooming them. The girl That's said it on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. He, all who of these allegations. He's even gotten a, a woman pregnant and paid off her abortion. Like that type of extremities, guys. Who would go yeah. on TV, national TV, and lie on a person like that? I just don't see that. I'm telling you, the in the black community, we don't lie like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. As well. We and just don't. There's a thread. She said, she said it's, it's, it's more than one person. And yeah, more importantly, I find it a little weird that in the statement, they're saying, uh, because he's a famous artist. Like, guys, there's tons of famous black artists that they could be saying this about, but they're not. They're saying it about you. Well, no, this it's is not the a thing, bunch. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're saying it about you. A bunch of people are saying it about you. Well, the thing is, is that 
what we're confusing is we feel that because people are popular and famous that they can't be wrong about something. Yes, things. and there are more popular feel, and more famous exactly, people. Exactly. We feel like they're a genius, so it can't happen. People write great songs every day. We, they, they're a great artists, but wrong is wrong, you exactly. guys. Yes, yes, exactly. I don't care what color you are. Yes. yes. We wanted to ask you what you thought about the R. Kelly movement, and at JR Will 82 said, it's about damn time. We needed to stop rewarding bad behavior a long time ago. We also had at this girl loves Mary Mary said after what the fool did to a 14 year old girl and all the young girls he's messed with. I'm just saying they should have boycotted his music a very long time ago. He's a sick pervert. They tried. I, I do want to state that there were there were minor boycotts. Um, there were some um, cancellations. There was people that are not supporting him. But now we have a bigger, um, a more yeah, a bigger movement, yeah. and that's what was needed. So and and just imagine see. that movement if in the club, in the parties, whenever you next hear an R. Kelly track, wherever you stand, all of you who are applauding, there's something to be said to just sit down as well. Well, it's up that. to like you know? because people like Tom Joyner. Has, yes. has made a statement yes, saying he, he will no longer play R. Kelly's music. It's and that's John the, Legend is even supporting. John Legend movement. has come through. Men have come through. So we'll see how this goes. I just want to add this one last one at Bejeweled Seven Twenty One to show different people's opinions. Right. Uh, said until allegations become convictions, I think we all could be boycotted over something. So just that's different opinions. Yeah. I, From controversial mm. singers to controversial outfits, it's okay. officially prom season, <laughs> and one excited mom is Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Lisa Rinna. Lisa's parenting, however, is being called into question for letting her 16-year-old daughter, Amelia, wear a plunging black gown to her prom. Oh, jummy. While many people oh, thought is... Amelia's who's actually a model, looked totally amazing. Others thought she looked totally inappropriate and that the dress was too risque for a high school prom. So, ladies, do you think this dress is chic or controversial? Is she 16? Yes. Yeah. And that's the prom? Yes. Y'all think that's appropriate? Uh, this is what I think. I know Lisa Rinna personally, and I know that she's a really good mother. And she is dealing with a daughter who has come out publicly about dealing with anorexia. Mm. So she's gone through her own journey. First of all, the fact that she is embracing her body, I applaud her for that because that takes a long time. There are women today that are in their 70s, 80s that still don't like their body. So I applaud that. The thing, though, is I believe every outfit has a statement. Every outfit, even J-Lo wears out right, outfits right. that says, I'm 40 and I feel fabulous. There's uh, different statements. Okay. The only statement I see this dress saying is, look at my boobs. Look at my boobs. And you don't say that at prom and you don't say that when you're 16. Yeah. yeah. What's up? My so, thing is, I, go I, ahead. I'm all for women owning their sexuality and being comfortable Absolutely. with their curves. However, I don't think you should rush that process. Um, I, nowadays, I know I'm old school. But I don't want my children to rush to be an adult. My mom always told me, she said, you are an adult longer than you are a child. She will have all her adulthood to show all of that. And I know, like, during your, like, childhood, your preteens and, and your, in your, your teenage years, you know, you feel awkward, but there's something precious and innocent about that time. Well, why and the did moment you become an adult, that? though, well, because she probably did that. The reason why she looks that way is because her mother allowed her to look that way. Do you see what I'm saying? So people raise their children People raise their children differently, and I'm not gonna judge that. You right. know, you you do you, boo. But I can only speak. <laughs> I can only speak from my personal experience. And I I loved my childhood, and I'm glad that I enjoyed each different phase of my life. Because once you become an adult, you can't take that back. You can't. You can't. You can't go back. Hey, you know hey, what I mean? If you gonna dress grown, you, you gonna, gonna act, act grown. grown. That's what they say. And deal with grown consequences. <laughs> exactly.